here with Jake Monaco Hi. In, in LA. And Jake, your studio here is just amazing. So Thank you. <laughs> I was wondering if you could just quickly show off some of the fun instruments you have going. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, in my little converted garage here, um, let's start over here on this side. Um, started out playing guitar, uh, so have wound up, you know, fiddling around with anything that kind of looks like a guitar. Um, anything from like cavaquinho, mandolin, um, a couple other crazy little Greek instruments down here. Just crazy, different sounding. Um, to some uh, some custom made instruments like this cigar box ukulele um, made by a guy named uh, Rich Briggs. Um, So it sounds similar to ukulele, but again, just has a somewhat of a different tone to it. Thanks. Um, some of the other things he's uh, he's put together, it's like hubcap, banjo um, type things. Again, you know, it kind of has a similar tone to a banjo. But just a little bit different, you know, it gives it a unique, unique sound quality to it. Um, couple other banjo type things back here. Going to like a guitar, a, ba a band guitar, I think they call them, a six string. A um, couple other ukuleles and a bunch of other guitars, baritone guitars. Um, back here we got some, some boom whackers. And uh, one of the shows that I work on, Dino Trucks, um, the, the inspiration that they kind of asked for was a Blue Man Groove meets Stomp. So a lot of the stuff that we had been experimenting with were these tubes. Um, that are all sorts of different pitches and so just whether hitting them on each other or on the ground or on other percussion percussion instruments over here um, can come up with some kind of cool stuff these are uh, these are called Hoya tubes and it's actually a whole nother octave below and a whole nother octave above I just chose the middle one here but even playing these with paddles or playing them with these tubes where you end up with a pedal tone. Um, just come up with some really cool sounds and some neat stuff. So um, the show's been a lot of fun to kind of experiment with and just come up with a bunch of random stuff. Um, drum kit back here, I think I've sat behind it about six times now. Still can't really play, um, but I'm gonna get there. <laughs> um, back in the corner there, uh, this guy, Rich, who made those cigar box uh, guitars and ukuleles and stuff. Um, he made a upright bass that is made out of a couple of wine cases. Um, again, just has a very different kind of tone. And uh, that and the other things that he made, I use a lot on the, the show Stinky and Dirty. Um, it's a trash truck and a digger that kind of have to work together in order to help solve problems. And so they use their, their trash to solve the problems. And thought about the idea of kind of, you know, create, having homemade guitars and instruments, things like that. A um, bunch of other percussion down there, like banging on pots and pretty much anything that will make noise can kind of turn into some sort of instrument. <laughs> um, other uh, a guitar, electric guitar pedal, um, it's an amp modeler up there and then a bunch of the pedals down here, they're all kind of hooked up. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the studio over here, other than just a bunch of computers that make it all run. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Thanks, Jake. Yeah, no problem. Thank you.